Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. I know it's loud, I apologize. I'm in the lobby of my hotel. Um, I look crazy because <laughs> I took a shower last night before I went to bed because Johnny's hideaway smells like smoke so bad. It's like one of the last places in the world people can still smoke. And let me tell you, there is some freedom for these people because not only do they smoke because they can, they chain smoke, they vape, they smoke e-cigarettes, they do all of these like smoky things. And I don't smoke, so I'm like, <clears throat> I like can't catch my breath. Anyway, you know, I was thinking last night when I was watching, you know, there's really, I think New York City is the absolute best place in the world to people watch. Outside of that, Johnny's Hideaway might be my favorite second. Um, but I was watching this one girl on the dance floor last night. She was standing on the side of the dance floor and all of her friends were dancing and she was sort of just swaying on the side of the dance floor. And at one point, one of her friends came up and tried to get her out onto the dance floor and she was like, no, like, you guys go, go dance. She was just watching and I thought, how many of us stand on the sidelines and just watch everybody else have fun because we're, we're afraid. We feel embarrassed. We feel less than. We don't want to be the one person on the metaphorical dance floor that people are making fun of. So we would rather stay safe on the sidelines where we blend or we go unnoticed. And this one friend of hers kept trying to pull her out there and then finally like physically pulled her onto the dance floor and like kept her close to her and was like holding her arms and they were dancing to Sweet Caroline and the friend looked terrified but was laughing and I was like yes that is what we need more of we need to surround ourselves with people who are gonna pull us off the sidelines of our life and into the living that is what we need we need friends and family. People surround ourselves with people who are gonna force us out of our comfort zones and show us what a good time life can be when we get out of the I'm so scared zone. Because even I have situations where I'm scared. Like, you know, my friend, I know Jay, or Yanni, as I know her and love her, was out with us last night. She's a real singer, right? She sings Love You Down. She sings Time After Time. She sings, she's got a new song that's fantastic. She's a real singer. And whenever we go out dancing together, she wants to sing on the dance floor with me. Okay? That's like, um, you know, I, I can sing for a, for a girl who can't sing. You know what I mean? Like I can carry a tune but she's like a singer. She's like a one of those, right? I'm not. So we have a song. It's like our song is How Will I Know by Whitney Houston. And we always joke that she goes high and I go low, meaning she takes all the notes that I could never hit and I take the background noise. <laughs> but she always wants to sing and it makes me feel slightly inadequate, I'm not gonna lie, because I know I can't do it. But the amount of sheer joy I have when the two of us jump up and down like eighth graders at a slumber party, because our song is on, it's our song. Literally, some guy was trying to dance with me and I literally pushed him out of the way and was like, ah, it's our song. And she was like, oh my God. Um, the amount of joy that comes on when the two of us can do this thing we do where we act out of course act out every word of the song and lots of mom spaghetti going on last night at Johnny's hideaway folks lots of mom spaghetti lots of woos I think a few of the woos came from me lots of pointsies lots of pointsies um, but I do it with her because it's like our thing and the amount of happiness I would miss if I didn't awfully sing with her and her beautiful runs And I don't think that a lot, I don't think enough of us surround ourselves with people who pull us off the sidelines and onto the dance floor of life because we don't want to be forced outside our comfort zone. But that is the beauty of it. I am so thankful that she held me by the hands that first time and sang into my face and was like, sing with me. 
because she doesn't care that I can't sing. She's not out there like expecting me to go for the Grammy. She just wants to share that connection with me for that song and I'm going to give it to her every time because it really does make us insanely happy. Plus, you know, it also makes me insanely happy to hear her sing. I mean, she's such a beautiful singer that if it means that I have to humiliate myself for three minutes and 15 seconds, I'm happy to do that. Um, she's actually going to come to Decatur today to my book signing. Um, I'm here at the Decatur Book Festival. So for those of you who are in Georgia, come see me today at the Decatur Book Festival. I hope that I see some of you. Anyway, I just wanted you guys to be thinking of that. You know, I think a lot of us, we surround ourselves with yes people because we don't want to be challenged. We don't want to be pulled onto the metaphorical dance floor of life. We want to stay safely on the sidelines. I took Jennifer with me here and she was like, I'm not dancing. I was like, the hell you're not? Let's go. And she was like, I can't dance. I'm like, neither can 89% of the people at Johnny Sideway. That's the beautiful part about Johnny Sideway. Let's go. Um, Anyway, I think the next like coffee talk event I'm gonna do is a dance party. What do you guys think about that? Um, all right, I am gonna drink my coffee and uh, call my babies, but I love you guys so much today. Have a great day.